Small cars might not be the most popular type of vehicle in Australia anymore, but that hasn't stopped Ford from going all in on an all new Focus. With a new engine, transmission, chassis and suspension, the Focus is looking to re-establish itself in the sub $40,000 segment. Let's jump in and see how well Ford has done. Lighter, stiffer and more aerodynamic than before, the Focus debuts an all new platform for Ford. While the exterior design is definitely on the conservative side, it's actually quite striking in the middle with its finer details depending on which variant you buy. Four grades will be available with the SUV inspired active and flagship titanium to join the range in the first half of next year, while the entry level trend and sporty ST line are offered from launch. As before, the Focus takes the form of a five door hatch, but for the first time in Australia, it is also available as a load lugging wagon, albeit only in ST line form. Critically, all variants come standard with autonomous emergency braking and lane keep assist, going some way in justifying the Focus's more premium positioning. The Focus's new cabin has a pretty basic horizontal design, with some cheap hard plastics used for its lower trim sections. While soft touch materials are used for the dashboard and front door shoulders, they just don't look premium. Ford's 8-inch touchscreen SYNC 3 infotainment system is still brilliant due to its ease of use, while a cool looking rotary dial acts as a gear selector instead of a traditional lever. The second row is a bit of a missed opportunity, with no central air vents or USB ports for rear passengers, although there is plenty of legroom on offer. Unsurprisingly, the wagon trumps the hatch with its rear cargo area, which provides up to 1,653 litres of storage capacity, with the split fold rear bench stowed via a manual release hatch. The Focus is now motivated by a 1.5 litre turbo petrol three cylinder engine that produces 134 kilowatts of power and 240 newton metres of torque. This is a Rorty unit that is very responsive to throttle inputs and offers punchy performance when on boost. It even has a very pleasing exhaust note for a non performance model. Also new is the Focus's standard and smooth shifting 8 speed torque converter automatic transmission that is very perceptive. However, it will stubbornly refuse to downshift unless engine speeds are below 3000 RPM when its manual mode is engaged. Hatch variants have controversially ditched their multi-link rear suspension for a torsion beam, although the wagon retains a more sophisticated setup. The SD-Line hatch and wagon also ride 10mm lower than the trend thanks to their sports tune, but the different setups cannot be separated on highways. Differences can be felt though when driving over deeper potholes and broken sections of tarmac where the hatch's rear end can become unsettled. The ST-Line hatch and wagon also set themselves apart with a sportier tune for their electric power steering, which is well-weighted, direct and quick. But it does feel quite numb as feedback from the front wheels is muted, even though the chassis is clearly capable. Being a front-wheel drive vehicle, the Focus has a tendency to understeer, but it is otherwise a confident handler with strong body control. The new Focus, even in its most vanilla of forms, is really good, in fact, the bones are there for something really great. We can't wait to see what its future holds. For our full written review, plus coverage from the Focus's national media launch, head to goado.com.au.